We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. Folks, welcome back to another fun-filled week of digital cards here with the Horde Cast. Uh, I am Ted Salas. At my side, as always, is Padme One One Three Eight, and of course, Cecil is here to make random noise and cause problems. And we have a special Just guest, you. an especially special guest today, yes. because MD Jacobus is his birthday today. So he's actually, you know, on the show with us. Welcome. Hey. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. And happy birthday. Happy Thanks birthday. So it's today. the Every trade I send out today. Scout bash. <laughs> birthday biker scout bash is I think what we just Perfect. Let's call it that. I yep. like it. Yeah. So, yeah, every trade I send out today is going to be caveated with. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. I've really, really, really wanted this card. I've really wanted this card forever. <laughs> forever since I got on the app. I started 2 weeks ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, getting a lot of that. They're getting a lot of new players, and there's a bunch of stuff. A lot of people coming into the app. Um, man, I'll tell you what they they should give Jermaine Lucier more more crystals because that dude he's writing yeah. about stuff all the time. I guess there's a feature on io9 this week about stuff coming for the Digicast or or the Digicon. 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 Oh, wow, did he uh, did he write it? I'm not sure if they, he did or not, but I, they, somebody did. He mentioned that there's an article coming this week on IO on, uh, IO9. I would imagine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and he should definitely get a cut because, well, I'm a byproduct of the, of the Vintage Han article. So. Aren't, we all, aren't we all? I mean, that's, that's yeah. how I started was I saw an article, I think it was on IO9, like the day that it started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so you're in for that. And then the Vintage Han came out, and I'm like, Nah, and then I'm on, and then that can't be true. I'll never spend money on this, though. Here I am. <laughs> Close those blinds, man. It's supposed to be cloudy. That's why I look like a ghost. <laughs> no, you're so white, and I'm so red. It's Girl, red. Like the, yeah, the, the sun is like, wow, ah, I look like I'm getting like melted. Yeah, it's a bit You'll get a sunburn just sitting there. <laughs> I, I probably would. I already have a sunburn because I did like hours of, of yard work yesterday. I was humping rocks and, and mowing grass and edging. I, I, I uh, transported... Uh, How many bags? Uh, holy shit. Uh, 24 bags of lava rocks. Eight bags at a time because my, you know, I just drive a little Prius. It ain't no pickup <laughs> truck. Yeah. So I had to take it easy on my car. So I'd get eight bags and then I'd go back and get eight bags and go back and get eight bags three times. 24, right? But aren't lava rocks light? They're pretty light though, aren't they? Yeah, but it's, you know, about 50 pound bags. Ooh, that's serious. Yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to overdo it on my car there. So yeah. I just imagined I was driving a, a rather portly person around town. There you go. So, but they got, to, they knew me at Home Depot. <laughs> like on the second trip, they're like, all right, back again. I'm like, you'll see me again in 20 minutes. I guess. Yeah, I'll be back for more. <laughs> you get these bags and you throw them down where they're going to go and try to figure, you know, okay, yeah. how much the is that going to cover? Just eats them. And it just, they just like water on the sand. They just disappear. I'd spread oh. them out. I'm like, fuck, I didn't even get a third of the way through this thing, you know? So, I hear you, dude. We did them around the, the mailbox, like the river stones or whatever. And I got them at Lowe's or whatever. And then, and then I was like, oh, this is, this is plenty enough. Like this, nope, these nope. bags are so heavy. They're so big. And we, you know, dug around the mailbox and everything. I was like, well, that didn't really cover even half of it. So <laughs> going back, like, yeah, that, and you're right. They just, they don't go as far as you think they're going to go. Yeah. Well, at least they, they last forever. We've had them in, in another bed in front for ages and they just, they're rocks. They don't fucking yeah. go anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. Mulch is bullshit. Yeah. Mulch is yeah, fucking mulch bullshit. Is bullshit. I should have done yeah. this 20 years ago. Pro tip. The mulch just gets yeah. washed away and washes down the street. Yep. Right. Yep. It, it drains well. It looks great. And um, the weeds can't hardly get through it. There's a couple of weeds that they must be, you know, genetically engineered to get through lava rocks. <laughs> um, but compared to what was out there before, because I, you know, I had just weeded that shit like a week ago and already shit's coming back yeah. up through and I'm like, Fuck this. I'm getting yeah, rocks. It I'm getting no rocks. Time. I had yeah. it with these goddamn weeds. Because yep. I hate weeding. I don't yeah. like it. Well, it's just, yeah. So, but I, it's a good job. Next week for garden tips. Do it good and, and 
your mother-in-law is very happy with you. Well, that's, for your that's worth a lot when we're all so stuck together. Yes. Yeah. Weeding is a complicated profession. Exactly. <laughs> not happy. I, and that was the other thing I was under, I was under the gun. I wanted to get it done before they get up. They usually don't get moving until about 10 AM. So like eight o'clock, as soon as the kids started on school, boom, I went right to Home Depot and started. Um, Cause I wanted to get them all in before she caught wind of it, because then she would tell me it was the wrong thing to do. Because yeah. Americans versus German, we do everything wrong. So thanks for everybody for tuning in to Rock Talk. Yes, Rock Talk. <laughs> this is Yard Florida. Talk from uh, Jacksonville. Yeah, Rock Talk. Come on. Nobody man. wants to hear about vintage Hans or gold wampas. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, let's talk about rocks. That's the, that's the, that's the hot shit that's going on. So happy birthday. I see what you did there. It's been helpful. <laughs> oh, okay. No, pro tip. Don't buy mulch. Go yeah, get fucking lava mulch. rocks. Don't buy mulch. They're like the same price. They're like literally the same price per bag as mulch, and they last forever. I've been an idiot for buying mulch. Yep, mulch. But mulch. Then you have Damn. lava in your front yard. Right, it looks cool. It's yeah. nice. But I mean, it's the same color as the red mulch, but it's rocks. It drains well. It stops weeds, and it lasts forever. What else do you need to know? Buy oh, that. It's instead. lava. And it's yeah. lava. Crystal goes. Is it really lava? Where would they get lava? And I'm like, uh, from a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere at one time in the past there was a volcano that erupted and all that pumice and everything is out there and there you go go buy bags of it they got plenty back the, that's back the, the solar number one export you, when the earth the number had one export out of hawaii other than pineapples this is lava yeah <laughs> I've actually been to the pineapple place man we are way off i've been to the pineapple place i don't know why the dole the dole place yeah. oh, it's your birthday we can do whatever the fuck we want to we're going to spend it here talking about pineapples and lava rocks. And Rock talk. <laughs> Rock talk. Actually, have I read lost, a thing. Have I we read, lost viewers yet? <laughs> I read a thing about pineapples that apparently there's some kind of enzyme that they're um, experimenting with that. Um, Cures coronavirus? Yeah, it's like an inhale. They make an inhaler out of this enzyme, and people mm -hmm. that use the inhaler, it helps them in their recovery from the coronavirus. Interesting. Did so, you hear this from the My Pillow guy? No, I did not. No, the guy tells you to go eat oleanders. <laughs> eat oleanders and die, motherfucker! Yeah. Stupid idiots. All my pillows are full of oleanders. So. <laughs> Made with real asbestos. Yeah. That's so weird. we are we're way off already, but so let's get into it. Um, first off, we heard a little bit of news or a little whispers in the wind again from uh, Curside Mark uh, about the uh, next uh, uh, wax IO garbage pail kids, or as Crystal calls it, garbage patch cats. <laughs> garbage patch cats. <laughs> garbage patch cats. And apparently it's going to be fully the series two. So whatever, yeah, whatever series two was of the original garbage pail kids, that's what's going to be coming to the blockchain. And you'll be, able, and it'll probably sell out really fast. Um, oh yeah! And I'll tell you what, that thing is, that whole deal is like so speculator driven. It feels really like weird. I listed all my all my uh, Joe Exotic bullshit, um, and some of my uh, some of my dupe stuff from Shatner, and none of that stuff has moved. I guess I'm gonna have to get in. I'm just like every. I have a little thing where I can check my account and see how many how much wax I have. And I've got like sixty six wax. It's like wow. three dollars. Why up? Because nobody's buying it. Yeah, it just sits. Damn there. it. Yeah. But so it comes huh. out. Everybody wants it, and then they all flip it immediately. And after that, it's just dead. It just sits there. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really strange. So that is strange. I don't know. I'll have to. I guess when the next round hits, I'll certainly get some of series two, and then I'm gonna go back and revisit what I have for series one. Cause I sold a few of those cards. I think uh, we've talked about that. Um, but you know, I would like to see what I have now, especially now that we should be able to at least a little bit easier. I haven't done this. I haven't gone back to see what my mint numbers are and those types of things. So who knows? I might have some good shit just sitting there. I don't know. You may, um, you may well, because, um, you know, we were both in really early and opening packs and I, you know, I had some fairly low numbered stuff yeah. um, and I list, I listed some dupes, you know I mean? Like under, you know, everybody's looking for like the number one, the number two, anything under 10, I think is a little more hot. After that, nobody really cares. I Unless see. it's 69. That's right. I want to have a whole set. No. I'm collecting a whole set of 69. <laughs> and there you go. You could put a whole set together and every mint number would be 69. That would be yeah. cool. Somebody's probably trying to do that. because I'm sure. 
Yeah. So. All the best people. So moving on into, and that's really all we've really heard of, and there's no no concrete details. I'm sure they'll be coming soon. It's interesting right. to me that Mark is involved in that as well. It is. Um, maybe based on his background, they roped him into it. I don't know. It seems, it doesn't seem to be the same property or, you know, Tops Digital stuff that he's doing on the Star Wars side. And maybe because he has some sort of a, of a background in, I don't know, in that side. They've roped him in as a consultant or whatever. But yeah, he and I have chatted and he's definitely helping them with stuff on that side. And I don't know. I don't know what the extent of it is, but that's what he said. Well, it's it's interesting. And, uh, you know, hopefully he has some longevity there. Maybe they can tie some um, some other properties into that as well. I think their proof of concept is, has been pretty solid thus far. And I, I'm still hanging on to a lot of S1 just because I think that's going to be kind of like the 2015. Oh, yeah. At least on the Wax blockchain, that's going to be the 2015 stuff that people, if this, if this continues and it's successful and it gets big, those are the things that the really early shit are, especially for NFTs, um, are going to be the things that people are looking. Oh for. yeah, give it a year. Give it, you know, in a year from the time we open those first packs, and new people are on board, and, and we already it. we already cashed out so fucking hard on that stuff too. Yeah. I mean, goddamn, we made a ton of money off that stuff from the. Oh game. yeah. So I have no regrets. it's all house money right now. So no no yep. harm in hanging on to it. So moving uh, into bunt kick or slam um, summer slam, I guess is Sunday um, for, for slam. Um, and so they dropped their, their typical, um, summer slam box, which has SIGs and cards and dual SIGs and all kinds of stuff. And it's a, you know, big hoo-ha that nobody gives a fuck about a week later. People hate, hate the pay-per-view stuff. <laughs> really? It can get a lot of traction. I mean, just when it's an event and then it's there and then that's it. You see people's trade in the trade feed all the time, you know, looking for so-and-so. No pay-per-view. <laughs> like when want... people say in Star Wars, like, you know, no Valentine. No shadow box. No Easter shit. No Valentine shit. Like, we don't want the holiday stuff. Like, yeah. That's got it. Some people do. <laughs> some people do. But when it's, you know, during that weekend, it seems to be the hot property and there's, you know, some pr fairly rare thing. And, of course, there's like a gold Alexa Bliss SIG. So... Everybody's trying to pull that and then, you know, rail the other guy for it. So that's what's going ever, on. Did there. you ever get the VIP one from the other day? Which one? I don't know. Wasn't there an Alexa Bliss VIP that Half you didn't VIP get? VIP Alexa Bliss. I pulled that one. Oh, okay. It's the, the SIG relic I still haven't got. Oh, right, right, right. Um, that's right. So I'm, I'm still watching eBay. I'll, you know, I'll pick it up eventually. I still want to continue that set. I'm still, the, when the new one came out uh, last week, it was that Keith Lee guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> huge <laughs> black guy and he's and i was like oh trading this for alexa bliss uh you know nobody thought that was particularly you got cool. no bites <laughs> no nobody sent me any offers i was like come hey. on keep your coins guys i got it right here send me alexa bliss yeah. and you can have him they didn't do it so that 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 moved on from there i didn't do anything in bunt um i didn't do anything in kick um actually I'm no I, I threw some at uh i threw a bunch there was a set that came out that had some fairly low count stuff, um, but I didn't pull anything good. I just hmm. like wasting my coins because fuck kick. I, I hate cry. I only do it for cross trade, so. It, and I guess it you know, does okay for cross trades, but. No, I don't know. it's not. No, it's, no, it's not. Hey, mate, I've got 100,000 <laughs> coins. What are you looking for? Nothing. Nothing with coins. Nothing. I have everything. I'm looking for old shit, man. <laughs> I'm looking for the guy that that opened some a couple of years ago and forgot about it. That's that's the guy I'm looking for. Those guys are hard to find. Yes, but when you do, mm, oh, it's magic. It's so good. <laughs> so in Disney Collect, um, they re-released the Lion King common set from 2019. Oh, remember? Wow, you remember 2019? Ah, oh, so 2019. Yeah, feels like nine months ago. I mean. <laughs> Uh, it was a long time ago. So that that was a that was an early set. They re-released it. It's common. They can do that anytime they want. It's yep. kind of like their open edition. A lot of people were really excited to see that. And then they had another Lion King, uh, like a story set, which are basically, yeah. you know, film frames. But tonight, it was like they do a they have a series uh, called Illustrated Adventures where they look cart like more cartoony than cartoons, if you can believe that. Hmm. Uh, but they've done it with like Moana. They've done it with like Cinderella and. and Angled or whatever that is with 
I think, the Rapunzel one, whatever. So, but yeah, I saw that, and I thought it was weird that they did two Lion Kings. Is it some kind of anniversary or something? I don't. I don't know. People love the Lion King, though. So Not this guy. So. Not one of my favorites. <clears throat> no, that that was about it. Did you do anything in Disney this week? Nope. No, no Disney's. Okay. They released the uh, the tw- was it twenty years of dinosaurs, and they had a new. Yeah. Uh, they had a new select um, recently as well, which I didn't miss for once I got a notification and pulled it while it was still in packs. Nice. I have over a million coins on my main and my alt now in Disney. So I'm just waiting for that Tron set. That's right, when they, when they roll out Tron for you. Well, or- uh, during, the, during the, the Digicast, they had one last night at 5, and mm-hmm. I, I was tuned into that because it's fun to sit in the chat and heckle, wait for the right time and drop a joke in. And I always, I'm always campaigning for a Tron set because I think that would be really cool. And so, you know, I, anything that came up, any chance I get, I say, Tron. Did they nothing? You got nothing? No, they don't, they don't respond to stuff like that. You know, Damn it. I get a giggle out of, out of Gabby with a joke. Um, Cause I could see it, you know, I could see it come across and mm-hmm. she <laughs> gives a, I get a little giggle and that makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm doing something being in the chat. For sure. I wish some, I wish the Twitch people, they should start heckling. They'll get on Twitch and they'll start putting shit on there to Not heckle. Really heckling just like, you know, in a joke, you yeah. know, something, something comes up, something presents, boom, drop it in there real quick and, and, yeah. and you know, get a laugh. So that's fun. No. That is fun. That's great. Huh? Nothing going on there. No jokes. Sorry. No. No. Okay. They did come out in Disney with another one of those um, El Capitan cards yesterday. I picked it up today, and it was a, it was a, you know, those are the freebies. Yeah, there one, one was a freebie, and then one was, um, one was like the one that you would get if you went to the movie theater to to watch it. And then this is, it was weird the way I've never seen it. Maybe I just don't pay attention. I, but I really have never seen it where. They had this where you, because you can't go watch the movie, but you can order con- shit from their concession stand. I'm not lying. It's in the app. You can order like bundles in the con- from the concession stand, like two popcorns and two drinks. And then it comes with like a code for the card. So you could actually go down there and pick up popcorn and drinks and get your card code. Yeah. They had like three different, when go into the app, it has like three different bundles. I'm like, huh. I mean, and they've done a couple of these cards since the whole, you know, COVID-19 thing. But I don't remember seeing a thing where you could, they, where you could buy a bundle of just carry shit. out concessions, get an I'm getting a nacho overpriced hot dog that'll give you a salmonella. Spend the rest <laughs> of the weekend on the toilet. Fifteen ninety nine for a for a roller dog. They and then... probably yeah, exactly. A roller dog. <laughs> They've just been sitting there rolling, yeah, rolling, the rolling, rolling, rolling for a long time, man. Since the last one. <laughs> I I see that on the I saw that on like the gas pump one time where I was pumping gas and it had like uh, like roller foods eighty nine cents and I was like what the fuck is roller food and then I realized oh not only do they have hot dogs apparently there are other roller foods anything that's cylindrical they will put on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's a roller egg. burrito. Uh, <laughs> Roller burger. It's a fucking cylindrical hamburger. Yep, I knew a dude who worked in um, in a major at a major league sporting team, major league, major league sports team, baseball team, and uh, he was he was a one of the business guys or whatever. But his his advice was always don't buy a hot dog until after the third inning because the <laughs> that's how they would get rid of all the ones from the game before. Like yeah, all the fir- hot dogs in the first through third inning are from the the games before. So oh, yeah. gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, get a hot dog before just, the third inning. Just drop them in that hot dog water and yeah, let's go. Kind of They're fine. Water. They're yep. fine. Five gallon bucket full of hot dog water. Gross. That's, yep. Yeah. No, I just want the water. So, I want that hot dog water. It's so good. Oh. It's salty. Oh. It's, all, it's like Gatorade. You know. It's, it, it does a body good. <laughs> oh, hot dog popsicle. Well done. Snippy. Uh, well done. Snippy says take the hot dog water and freeze it and make a popsicle. Uh, <laughs> hot popsicle. Kind of like, kind of like gazpacho. I guess it could be like gazpacho. So. Oh, my God. That's so gross. Come could... in from the yard all hot and sweaty. Have a oh, hot yeah. dog popsicle. Oh, just so soothing. You put a little oh, mustard. Oh. Put some mustard on it. Hey kid, do your kids like hot dogs? Well, yeah. you got a summertime treat. The great taste of hot dogs. 
Oh, oh man. And, <laughs> well, let's move on to the magical world of Marvel Collect. Uh, I, did, I didn't do anything except my X icons on eBay, which I completely flaked on. I missed on drop day. But for whatever reason, everybody hated those X-Men. So it was a cheaper than usual. It was usually I'm I, Same bucks. here. I, dude, I did the same exact thing. I flaked on them, I missed them, and I had to get them on the bay, which they're cheaper that way anyway. Yeah, the corner I, boxes I never pull cool. them. I can't pull them for shit, so I just go to the bay anyways. And yep. um, But it was um, – usually they're like four bucks. These were like three fifty. I probably could have, you know, asked for three and got it. Probably. The friendly farmers do hook those up, so – that's pretty much all I'm doing in Marvel these days. The sets are just so uninspiring. Really, there's just nothing other than the you know, the monster one that you had, which was right up your alley, was really cool. Everything they came out with this week was it looked like just recycled Spider-Man. It was all just recycled Spider-Man crap. I, I haven't know. looked to see if they have put counts on the monster set. When the awards came out, it was really disappointing because there was NA, no counts. Oh, bummer. And I, I, I haven't seen yeah. the counts on those yet. I expect the green monsters will probably be in the five to 600 range on the award. Cause they had just barely cracked a thousand when it sold out and awarded. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. And so otherwise I just do the weekly stuff over there. Like the, the comic panel on Friday I, and the corner boxes. That's about it. The corner boxes, like you said, the X icons. Um, I'm not doing the, I'm not even doing the die cut weekly. That, that didn't do anything for me. I skipped those. So yeah, I, nothing special in Marvel at all this week. Oh, they had, they, I guess they finished up the base chase. Like they did. Um, yeah, they had like, a week long, week one for series two. Yeah. Where there's like the orange, they call it, it's just the orange ones or whatever. And it's a week long and then that's it. I did do a couple weeks ago, the comic panel um, base chase that they had, which was fun. They did that for Comic-Con. Um, so I did that, but I didn't do the, they call it the week one orange or whatever. Um, I skipped that. I think I did the math and it was only like, think you could have done it for like 5,000 crystals, which, you know, 20, 25 bucks, but still. I had a teacher one time when I was a kid, speaking of orange, just a complete tangent. I had a teacher, uh, probably an English teacher that pronounced, it was, it was, an orange. Own, it was elementary school and said that. Orange. 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 Okay. Is that how you say it? No, that's uh, just a different way I've heard it. Orange. Oh, okay. No, orange. well, they, 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 they stood in front of the class and pronounced and, and made the pronouncement that. There's no rhyme for orange. And I raised my hand immediately and said, door hinge. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> really pissed. <laughs> 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 she was really mad. I was like, yeah, eat it, English teacher. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you did stuff in Marvel this week, though, yeah? You, you yeah, told me. Yeah, What'd I did um, the Captain Marvel drawing board motion thing. Well, I didn't do the motion ones. Well, yeah, they were motion. I guess it sketches out or whatever. Sketchy ones, yeah. 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 Motion. Yeah. yeah, I did those, and I did flexions. Oh, okay. You oh, like that's right. They did another round of flexions. Yeah. She likes the flexions. I did flexions. I, I like them too. One thing I don't like about them, which would make them better cards, I think, is that they all have like that shattered glass around the border as a border. If it were just a full bleed image. Yeah. It would be really cool. I, I did the first round. I didn't do the second round. I probably should because I think the second round will probably actually have a lower count. Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're already higher. Sometimes the second one, people don't, don't do it because they did the first one and whatever. But I should do it. But, yeah, I don't really – the shattered glass thing is it's annoying. I wish it was just a card. But that's, what, that's me. Do they have variants in that set? Uh, yeah. There's two variants. Yeah, I just did the – cheapy one i have some of the i think they are they called gold or something i have some of them but well there's uh they're going to be dropping inception um in marvel which is the first time i think we've seen inception in marvel um mm -hmm. that's supposed to come out i think this week possibly today um they mentioned that in the digicast last night as well huh. so that it'll be interesting to see how that looks um what, what that looks like with marvel characters inception's pretty you know pretty solid you know we're used to those kind of cards and all the apps and they've been in star wars as well all the sports yeah. apps have had inception for ages so it'd be interesting to see what that looks like with marvel characters that will be interesting yeah you're right uh that one's gonna have three variants in it um so that's that's not so great they definitely milked that cow with the variants mm -hmm. over on marvel yeah people love to milk cows they love milk 
It's delicious. Lots of lots of protein and calcium. It's good for vitamin you. D. Does the body good? That's what I've heard. So uh, moving into f- the fantastic, terrifying world of tarot yeah. cards. <gasps> tarot <laughs> cards. I had nothing to pull this week because I'm not into. The only reason I've been pulling it all the last few weeks is because I got into the Sin Snap uh, melds. Even though I hate uh, Carnival of Souls, I've been yeah. calling it Carnival of the Damned. And, That's what you called it last week. <laughs> yeah, Carnival of Who Gives yeah. a Fuck and all kinds of – because I just don't like that movie. It's terrible. Um, but it's Carnival of Souls. And so yeah. I, I was into the Sin Snap melds on that. Um, so I've been pulling for those because they replaced the base. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm not into straight edge kegger, which is still going. And um, uh, what else is still going now? Girls just want to have blood. Oh, girls just want to have blood. Yep. Is that true, Crystal? No. Did did you guys, when you were in high school and and you'd ride around in the car with your friends and sing, girls just want to have blood. You didn't do that? No. Hmm. Not one time. I actually like the look of those cards. Um, and I like the straight edge tanger ones too. They're kind of, they're different than some of the ones that he normally does. So I like the state, the straight edge kegger, all the character cards, everybody's just holding up a red cup. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I thought I was getting the same one over and over again. Cause there's all these dumbass guys holding up their red solo cup. And yep. then I realized, Oh no, it's different guys with the same. Yep. Pop. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, they're not, not terrible sets. I think they're okay. Um, I got into them because I was hitting Pandora for other stuff. And now like I'm in for the first couple of waves. I'm like, I'm I have a, I have, I have a bunch of, them. there's one guy that keeps spamming the feed over there looking for the character card of stink from I girls just want to have blood. He's been hitting that thing like three, four times a day. Like if we stink, like if we stink, <laughs> like that stink card from girls just want to have blood. I actually it, saw that this morning. And they they had a uh, they they finished up the was it unlisted owner that had the sig set with the drawing? Yeah, that's done. Um, yeah, that's done. And oh yeah, by the way, oh, that okay. one a physical sig of, from the director, I guess. The director, how cool is that? I mean, I can't imagine. I've never went. Jealous, I, you know, like I don't know anything about the movie and and or anything okay. like that. But it, every once in a while, he comes across with an, a physical product or some kind of physical thing um and that was one of the rare opportunities and our buddy here matt won can't believe it yeah i never win anything which was super cool that was fun and then you had the you had the link of of him signing them and giving shout outs that's kind of neat yeah uh, that's really I love cool. it. and then so previn previn hit me up in the app and asked for my address so he could send it so um so it should be here soon when it when it gets here i will uh, i'll put it in the discord for sure just yeah, so sorry can... it's gonna take a little longer than you expected that's right uh, they have sorry. to prioritize ballots Ballots will get out first. <laughs> so <laughs> it'll it'll come eventually, but that's cool. You have to you have to share. Yeah. It. Um, with totally. that. so that's really I'm, cool. I'm you know I'm hoping something. You know we're getting close. I mean it's almost September. As soon as we hit October, that's when we start really pop pop popping along, and hopefully we'll see some classic shit um, for Halloween this year. I hope he so. He does a good job. So he hasn't really done anything with uh, Night of the Living Dead this year so far. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Halloween's always a time for for you know, and it's a it's a public domain thing, so he can always mm-hmm. go to it anytime he wants. And I, I don't think anybody hates it when he does. I you know I I love that uh, stuff. So hope to yeah. see that soon. So, I think I think that's good. I'm looking forward to that too. That'll be fun. Yeah, he always does such a good job, and obviously we always say you know the community's really good over there. It's just a great place. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice, nice bunch of people and, and, you know, fun properties and just, he's always coming up with great stuff. Cannot say enough good things about Previn. He's great. He actually tweeted out the other day on saying that um, the Horde, the, the, the Digicast or Digicon should have a live uh, podcast from us. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> I retweeted the shit out of that, and Tops is like, no. <laughs> that guy swears way too much. He's way <laughs> off brand. We, we no. might, though. Huh? We we might like we could live stream us watching digital. Oh, there you go. You could. You know, all we could do is figure. It'd be like out. Inception. You like in. I You're right. Which one is real and which one is? Yeah. That would be cool. You could do a live streaming of watching their podcast yeah. or watching them do. That would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of we the plan. We should find a hole in the schedule where where it seems like you know it's going to be something that nobody gives much of a fuck about, and then go in and just 
live watch and, and, and MST3K that shit. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like when you guys took over the uh, conference room at that con <laughs> the convention. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I think I could probably set it up so like their feed was in the was the big and then us down the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because um, that's what the guys on uh, the uh, Djibouti cast do all the time. So, or you could just do like a yeah, you could do like a riff track or something. Yeah. <laughs> riff track that shit on Twitch. I'll try to figure that be out. Great. Oh. Figure out how to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, they, they won't have you as a guest though. They'll be like, oh, that's that's those are the guys that talk too the much. The guy's not PC. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. He's way. He's a wild. Yeah. He's cannon. No they telling what the hell he's gonna say. <laughs> and, uh, have you heard what they call our help desk? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they wouldn't they i don't think they'd have us on for that so no they, they would not but they're, they're supposed to have uh they're gonna have ashley Eckstein as a guest pretty crazy um, yeah a, li a live guest on twitch for that so that'll be interesting to see how that goes and what goes into that and if they have any kind of product tie-in going with it they had just gotten mm -hmm. approval on that as of yesterday yeah that's pretty new that's that's that was brand new breaking news there for anybody that didn't watch that so <laughs> We're already, and we're halfway into it, Star Wars, so we should go ahead and just get into that. I realized a while back that long-term commitments just aren't my thing, man. 30 weeks, three ways to 10, I can't do it, it's too much. I got myself a brand new jam. I'll be keeping it big there, baby. I'll be keeping it big there. Cecil. Okay. All right. Keeping it weekly edition of Marathons in a Minute. This is series two of Keeping It Weekly, actually. Never told you that, but it's, it's series two. Oh, um, cool. And we are week 10 of 12, so that is five sixths of the way done. Is that right? Is that fraction right? I don't know. Something like that? I don't do fractions. I don't know. Uh, Sunday, Top's Choice, Editor's Choice, it was, they called it Anakin versus Obi-Wan, but we're going to call it Obi versus Anakin, but actually, it's Obi versus Darth Vader. Yes, he was fully Darth he Vader. He was somewhere. freaking dang nasty evil at that point. He that had the yellow not, eyes. He had yellow thing. eyes. Yeah. That was not Anakin. He's Scott Furkus. Yeah, yep. that was... <laughs> Scott Perkins. That was Darth Vader at that point. He was taken over by Vader. That is true. Yeah. Um, and then Gilded Galaxy. It is actually another Darth Vader. It's an animated suit. like Darth Vader. Yeah, like a cartoon Vader. It, it looks like it came from um, the how Galaxy, old that? Galaxy of Adventure. Yeah, 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 Galaxy of Adventure. That's a cool style. I like that. That's a cool I like that style Vader. too. Like that better and than the Clone Wars Vader with the little pinhead. Yes, and I kick myself in the ass for I'm not getting us off track. Kick myself for not collecting those when they were out because they are nice. Anyway, uh, Tuesday droids. It was whack forty seven. He's a pit droid. He whack. He whack. <laughs> that droid is whack. <laughs> that droid whack. He called it a whack pack. Whack pack. And then Wednesday featured creature. It was a Voltex. Finally, yeah. When it finally showed up right because they, they had yeah. a little glitchy glitch there a fumble a little I, fumble that was weird so yeah a little, little little issue there how it took a what another about an hour and a half two hours for him to it, finally it get that a, thing out? yeah it was a couple hours yeah. it was <sighs> like and why it was a wednesday what else are you guys doing yeah Come it was I, they had dropped the packs i'll bet you there was something wrong with the, the odds on the pack and they realized it as they dropped it like oh wait a shit oh no no -uh, no got because <laughs> no, no, no. they because it was in the store i saw it in the store and then they had the crystal and the coin pack i was gonna pull with coins because it's like what one in ten so i throw it and it immediately says this product no longer available i'm like what Bummer. sorry for the sidetrack well i think all right and then oh well the, you know that just gets us to thursday the fan choice mm -hmm. which is wow who knows what's happening in it nowadays? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. I turned into Christopher Walken. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Because <laughs> we're in the semis. And last week it was the Jedi Starfighter and the TIE Interceptor. Who won? 
Who knows? We'll find out next week in the finals, I guess. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> and this week, it was the Hammerhead Corvette and the Resistance X-Wing, tough. which means... That's tough. That previously... Previously on... Previously 24. on Fanshawe's <laughs> Tournament, the X-Wing defeated the Snowspeeder. Which is unbelievable. How did that happen? Right? OT and versus... But the X-Wing is such uh, a... Though, the Corvette so beat the B Wing. But again, how did that happen? Oh. Right? But it was but you said yourself it was not the best B Wing. It was yeah. it No, was, no, it's a uh, cartoon. Wars B -wing, yeah. so. But isn't that Harris? Yeah, that's the one that Dan's No Harris. No Harris. <laughs> no Harris for you. No Harris for you. Um let's see, what are they saying on Twitch? Keeping it weekly theme playing. Yes, yep. they're imagining the they're, theme. They imagine the keeping it the weekly. Majestic theme. Ah. Uh, you you imagine it, I hear it in my nightmares. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can sing it to you anytime, my love. He right does. here live. You guys <laughs> just do not understand the amount of dumbass songs this asshole will come up with. <laughs> and he will not Stop! Remember the one I made up the other day? No! Uh, cry I'm baby bitches! To not. <laughs> it's about somebody was crying about something, so I made up a song called Cry Baby Bitches. Right. And it's Cry Baby Bitches. They're the babies who cry a lot. <laughs> Jackson. That's my life. <laughs> Random crap like that. And then he'll keep on going and I'll be like, stop. I I am And he won't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I won't stop. I'm entertaining myself. <sighs> What's worse is when he does shit like that and pisses off my mom. And, and then I won't stop. And, and, and she's I'm, like looking at me. And I'm looking at you stop. like, stop. stop. Stop it. Stop. She doesn't get it. It's not funny. Stop. <laughs> and he keeps going. And I can see her. She's getting so mad. And he won't <laughs> stop because he's a dumbass. That's fun. Get she gets so mad at that. And then I go and pull some weeds. And I'm I was going to say, and then go out, the, gardener, the gardener's pissing me off, damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's all is yeah. forgiven if I pull some weeds. Uh-oh. All right. Uh -oh. all right. And anyway, back on track. That, that, that was a sidetrack. Hey, Dark Bird. Um, so we get to Friday, which was Villains. Ugh, it was another night of Ren, but it was not Trudgeon. So, you know, it was Affleck. He's not the best. He's lame. I always think of him as Aflac. Aflac, yeah, they it was it was the Aflac Knight of Wren. And today yeah. well, you know Trudgeon's coming someday. We're about twenty minutes away from seeing what the concept is. Last week it was three PO and Poe, so Yeah, we're rolling pretty good today. We'll rolling see. Good. Still waiting for another free free um free baby concept, so maybe we'll get free Leia baby. But baby passes. Mm. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. So is that it? Yeah. That's it with several sidetracks. Yeah, a lot of sidetracks, but wow. you know, whatever. Whatever. It's fun. It's fun. Thank it's you fun. for allowing our sidetrack. Cry baby bitches. They're the babies who cry a lot. God. I had a whole commercial designed around this 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 cry baby cry baby bitches. bitches. Cry baby bitches use six D cell batteries, weighs about forty pounds, <laughs> and then you and then you pour pour water into it. So that's a great idea. I think six. six Who's calling your phone? I have no idea. Six D cell batteries are probably enough uh, direct. Uh, what do you call it? Um, you know the non alternating current, direct current, to kill a child. <laughs> you probably generate enough direct current to kill a child. So that's a great toy. Um, look forward to seeing one of those. So, well, thank you very much for keeping it weekly. Um, let's move into horde updates. Oh boy, how you doing, Matt? How's it going with the? You got two really tough ones with Boba Fett and the Chowd. Yeah, they're they're doing pretty well. Um, I think yesterday I got to 10k on the child. Um, it took longer than I wanted because I had to work this week. So I was yeah, it's like three whole weeks. It took, yeah, I wanted it done in two. I wanted to get 10K and <laughs> I thought that would be fun because crybaby bitches. Like, people say, oh, it's so hard, so hard. Yeah, I can do the child in two weeks. That's not hard. That's, does, that does not equate the hard it task. It works well. Yeah, try. So, oh, well. So, I left Boba alone since I started the child. He was, he was pretty well done um, as far as what we figure monument requirements, but I'm not going to, can't stop, won't stop. I'll keep going. I just wanted to get the child up to where he was, even. And then from this point forward, I'll just 
my horde post will be for both of them. Um, and then maybe they'll, they'll increase together. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, let's see. We're at uh, 10,374 white child, uh, 823 blue, 613 red, 226 green, and 98 orange. So I didn't focus on colors with him as much. I just focused on the whites because they've been harder. Um, and then I think now I'll just fo I'll try to focus on getting the colors done. What I did with Bobo was I actually got the colors to double what the S6, S5 and S6 requirements were. And then uh, he's at 13, but I'll keep going. So I think I'll get the colors to double because that's... Just, well, then you can, you can melt. Be hard. <laughs> not, can melt too. I like doing that. It's not going to be hard um, because they're, the colors are so plentiful this year. Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, I, I, if they have monuments, they're going to have to increase the numbers because, like you said, I mean, you know, if you can hoard that many child in in three weeks, pff, there's no way that they can be 10k. And I still, I'm, you know, I, I'm still hoarding. I'm over numbers on everything. It's still going. Yeah, it, it it used to be the biggest accomplishment in the game was to you know hoard and get a monument, but it's it's honestly it's not very hard. Nope. It's so, not. So, so how is your hoarding going, my love? How are the layers? I didn't do much this week because I was busy um, with work and with – Feel your pain. Getting the kid um, hooked up with uh, – We had a lot of stuff late in the week with school and, starting. And, and we had errands to run in the middle of the week for school. It was so a lot. Had a lot I had Wednesday on. off, but I didn't actually do anything on Star Wars because we were just doing stuff. We were busy. We were busy, yeah. But – um. Let's see where are we at. Um, which I'm also doing a lot of the colors just because when I get in there and you're looking at people's stuff, usually some of them only have like one or two layers. Right. So then I just go after the colors. Yeah, you should. You know? yeah. So um, let's see. Series one Leia, I'm at white 9,109. Oh, cool. I didn't realize I was going to there. Okay. That's great. Um, blue, 1,230. Red, 720. Green, 367. Orange, 219. And I think I'm going to try and double the colors just like Matt was talking about. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, cool. I didn't realize I got there, too. Um, series 2 Leia, Bespin Leia. Um, 1,895 white. 692 blue. 449 red. 256 green and 132 orange. Yeah, you're crushing it on color. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you are crushing that. You have more orange. You have more Series 2 Bespin Leia orange than I have Series 1 child. <laughs> I think I only had like 98. So, yeah, you're killing it. Well, it's, it's just it's easier right now to just try and just go after and grab all the colors yeah. I can. Yep. And I don't have Trudgeon saved to my bookmarks yet, which I love the bookmarks yeah, thing. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh you. my gosh. Yep. So great. I got, I got to add Trudgeon in there because I'm piecemeal here and there. I, I pick how, up a Trudgeon. I forgot how to use the bookmark thing. You're going to have to show me a bit again because I needed it because I, okay. uh, I, I was doing a – I was trying to put together oh. pictures for a oh, rainbow I put together this week. Oh, oh, humble okay. brag. Humble brag. Yeah, we'll get to <laughs> okay. But, yeah, so, like, Trudgeon, I, I don't have him on here yet because, like, just like I can't find some of the Leia's. Some, yep. some people I go in and there's barely, they have like one or two of each one. So then, you know, if it's like, it's, if it's like a scrub character, then I'll, you know, I'll go and I'll take Trudgeons for it. You know, if they're like hoarding Sebulba or like some ugly ass alien. Yeah. I'll give, I'll take some Trudgeons for that. That's a good idea. I can, I'm telling you, I could use aliens like are actually of, considered to be the most incredibly attractive, attractive of, of that race. Yes, other members of the race would see species. like size noodles, and they're like, "Oh, hubba hubba!" <laughs> wow. Woo wee! My <laughs> proboscis just appended. <laughs> <laughs> you get really aroused. <laughs> My cloaca just opened up. <laughs> Oh my god! Really, yeah, that's a good one. That's gross. If you didn't already have show titles, like five show titles by now, you could do. Oh, it. Wow. Start pouring hot dog water all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's part of their their sexual. Oh god! <laughs> the big finish with the hot dog water. Oh yeah. That's, 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> There's actually oh, probably. Oh, you get that salty in there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So good. I'm telling you, back to bookmarks. I I could use well ten, I, ten bookmarks, man. Before we get too far into the woods with the the, the alien sexuality, alien donors. <laughs> I got a hoard update. I did. Uh, let's see. I didn't hoard much this week, to be honest. Um, I didn't do a whole lot in the app, really. At you all. need to freaking unlock your layers. Okay, I'll give them to you. You can have them. Dang so, it, man. Uh, but I um, let's see. I had. Uh, I am at. 14,936 white Jana. Um, I have uh, 1,037 blue. I have 486 uh, green. I have 241 orange. Um, on BD, I'm at 12,016 on white. Uh, 1853 on blue. 1,069 on red. Uh, 369 on green and 247 orange. So I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape. Moving along, yeah. BD's trail. He's he's really trailing behind Jana. But well, if you would freaking unlock your layers, then I would get some more. Then you get some more. The, the big thing I did in in hoarding, which was actually insane, completed my first S three rainbow, um, That's and awesome. I I did not plan it to. It was not that fun, idiot. Yes, I've been trying literally for over a year to give away the Mustafar Jedi Luke that I had. And I have had an open, o open offer to Half Thigh, who has the Mustafar fat that clone idiot. That dude fell into a volcano That dude's years dead, ago. he's gone. I guarantee he's With dead. With his phone. And um, so I've, been, I've had this offer open for literally over a year. If he would just log in, he would see, oh, some dumb fuck is gonna give me Jedi Luke one count, for my one count fat clone idiot. What a moron. Yes, I'll take that. At any time he could have logged in and taken that deal and it would have happened. And I would have been happy about it. I would have been out, I was happy to hand it over to finish that rainbow. Well, there was somebody who kind of went out of the app, um, decided to sign off and, um, they were selling off a bunch of stuff and a lot of people were getting in there and getting stuff. Crystal bought some stuff. Yeah, I, I got five, um, Low count tier 10 Leia's. Yeah. Well, they're from S3, S3 and S3X. That's, so. I got uh, four, four biker scouts last week. It was before he made his big announcement wow. that he was going to go, but I got the four um, low count biker scouts that he had. Yeah. So, yeah, people are cleaning house on that. So, it's good. Yeah. Well, he's, he's gotten rid of a lot of his stuff. He sold off tons of his gilded and stuff like that. And, and, Unfortunately, this is a person that um, I have not gotten along with in the past. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> what? I'm considered to be difficult. What? Um, no. But yeah, so he basically. is. Yeah, I am difficult. He is. I feel uh, sorry and I, I, I apologize to all the traders out there <laughs> it, across all the apps, all, all, all the apps, all areas, because I know. Yeah. He is difficult. At least you don't have to be around and hear me sing and make up uh, cry baby bitches songs and stuff. So it wasn't somebody that I could go to myself because I, they would have just been like, yeah, fuck you or railed me. So I actually had a proxy, a good friend of ours, uh, Selden Pat, went over to him and, and, and sherpa the deal and basically yep. got me all the tier 10s of the Jedi Luke that this guy had. So wasn't cheap, but I was happy to pay it because I, I could. Uh, that put the rainbow in reach. Yep. After that purchase, I found that I had thirteen. I think it was thirteen cards that I was still missing on the rainbow, all of which were over sixty-eight count. Then I go and I look at Jen Clark Rowry um, at uh, what is it, Dark Knight 007 or whatever, <laughs> and she's got eleven of the thirteen <laughs> sitting in the account. So I contacted her. Said, hey. I'm after these cards. Can you let me know what you want for them? It was like 17 bucks. She's such a sweetheart. Just gave me a deal on the things. Um, That's awesome. Wonderful. And I was like, yeah, happy. Thank you so much. Two away. All I needed was a bronze and then an orange, um, orange hyperspace, which Crystal had the orange hyperspace. Oh, so shout hello. out to you. Thank you very much. And then I just needed the bronze. I sent it out a, a like, I was just sending out blinds, sending out blinds, sending out blinds, still sending blinds out and found somebody had already accepted. So I had to cancel a bunch of blinds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before you lose more cards. And yeah, rainbow complete. Jedi awesome. Luke. Um, from that, is the, that is a beast of a rainbow too. 
Yeah, it's That's a cool, fantastic. Cool, card, cool character. Yeah. I mean, an a, A-level character and awesome rainbow. So I'm stoked. That so is awesome. Again, thank you. Shout out to um, to Selden Pat, to to Jen Clark Rowery, uh, to Crystal um, for, for helping me do that. I finally have, I have a, a rainbow in every series now. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. And somebody asked me, do you consider um, S1 and S2 to be different? I don't because they're the same, just like S3 and S3X. I, I consider those S3. Yep. Well, you can't search by, you can't separate them in your searches, really. So It's by 2015. So. Yeah, that's it. But um, yeah, you can't. Eh, otherwise. It was almost, there's one little indicator on the back of the card, I think, where it says 2015 edition is the difference yep. between S1 and S2. And I can't even remember which one has that. And which one doesn't? So it's that hard to tell them apart. Yeah, I just if I say S one, it's I, it means S one and S two, really. So that was cool. I was I was really happy I about it, and I saw a ton of people going and getting low count shit. Broken name got a bunch of inquisitors, and a lot that. of people were getting a lot of this guy kind of gathered stuff up and just decided, you know. And I, I think he's right. It's actually a really good time to get out because the market's in a bonker state that I never expected to ever see it again in terms of pricing on stuff. It's crazy, it crazy how much stuff's going for. Yep. It is crazy. Some dude had a vintage Han on the Bay for like 200 bucks the other day. It was like one ninety nine, And I'm like, no, that's ridiculous. So I threw it. I threw a hunting ski at him and he came back. He countered back with one sixty five. I was like, yeah, fuck you. That's, I mean, I can't believe that. It's stuff selling for what it is these days. Did it sell? No, it's gone. He took it down. It didn't sell. So maybe he traded it. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, it might've just been a, you know, uh, a fuck you price too. Yeah, it might've been. So uh, it's, Frank it's, Reynolds it's, does that all the time. He puts you uh, up yeah. like $400, like fuck you, $400. And some of that stuff actually sells. He's like, well, fuck yeah. me. <laughs> I'll okay. take that $400. That's He's great. Awesome. Yeah. I, I actually love that guy. He is fantastic. And we should say congratulations to him because he's been after, um, the five count gold uh, Return of the Jedi mural from the Celebration set. Uh, the one I have two of that. And he he's hounded me for one of mine for a very long time. And great guy, nice guy. Um, but it's got biker. I never gave it to him. <laughs> I never even played it it's because I had two. And I mean, it has the biker scouts. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I stress the fuck out about pulling that. Yeah, I remember. I threw a lot of money at it. So I'm like, no, I'm, I'm in too much. I got I got I got two of them. I'm going to hold on to two of them. So he actually did get. Uh, some dude to let to find there was a, a guy who had the fifth one um duels has one and he has the full set and somebody else has one and they have the full set and then i have my two so really you know There's those are one four. in circulation there was one in circulation that some guy pulled and he said i just didn't want to trade it anyway he finally got him to tell him how much he want you know what he wanted for it and and frank went out and he gathered all the stuff up and he sent him a trade and, and sure enough he got one so i'm really happy for him because that's a card he's chased for a long time so anyway, Frank, that's Frank, the end, that, that's the end for that card. I mean, literally and it's it. probably a forever home for him. So that'll be that. Yeah. yeah. He wanted it because he likes um, monsters and creatures like rank and shit. So that's what he was after it for. That's cool. Well, that's good. Yeah, real cool. Congrats. Yeah, definitely. So we, um, we've noticed that the meditation chamber is now up to six count. Another one was pulled, I think sometime this week. Um, I was after Cam Love. Um, who wanted to kill John Wick. Um, he also killed John Wick, and he also killed the values of the black cards. <laughs> <laughs> he took a bullet and shot it right in the head um, because he, he he wanted to do the whole set. Yeah, so well. he went ham on those packs like anybody would, honestly. Yeah, you said, yeah, you said the same. You're like, no I would do it. No shame on that at all. Anybody with a lick of sense that got access to that pack was going to go, yeah, I'm going to build that whole set. Um, yeah. And he did it, I think, entirely by pull. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept pulling it till he had all 100. Well, there's yeah. nobody to trade with, and there's very little people to trade with. Yeah. You would be hard-pressed to find anybody with, you know, dupes of – I mean, you could. Somebody like Merv, who has – I know of a guy dupes. that has a lot of dupes of some. It's yeah. Camlaw. <laughs> he's got yeah. tons of dupes. And, and uh, he's yeah, but he's a nice guy. He's doing a, he's doing a giveaway in our Discord. He's going to give some of them away. We're doing a drawing, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, I, I put tomorrow at, at, like, 6 p.m. I'll put – I'll write down all the names, and I'll, and I'll let uh, – Thomas stick his little arm in, in a hat and pull one or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and the winner is so, drool. <laughs> so I think we'll, we'll figure out how to do that. Um, somebody suggested we do it here on the show, but let's, you know, like you said, let's just leave it to discord. Um, 
then just make it a Discord only event, which is cool. Um, and also, we want to make sure that anybody who has the chance to enter gets to enter. So if you haven't already seen it on Discord, hop on, check it out, put your name on if you want to get a, a shot at getting those. It's six of them, and I think he even said he might add some he more. He might throw some more in. He had a couple of really nice ones. One of them was the Obi Wan, which is a really good card. Yeah, that is a cool one. I picked up. There's um, a Killy. There's a Killy Gr Gim in there too. Yeah. You're gonna get that Killy Gim. Crystal, you got one. You, you just try to get another one. There you no. go. Or kill again. No. You could do it. No, one is, one is sufficient. Yeah, that's enough. So, yeah, he's got – there's plenty of those in circulation, or there will be eventually. So. Yeah, and he's been uh, selling a few. He's just trying to recoup what he spent on, on crystals to, to pull the things. Um, so, you know, there's no harm, no, no, no blame, no shame. That, I think he did what anybody with access to that would do. I would have. Um, I, I expect that the – Number of people throwing at the daily 99 cent meditation chamber and hope of blacks is probably going to diminish um, when you're spending a buck to get a card worth a buck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you still get your 250 crystals, but yeah, that sucks. And I never, still, still not yet pulled a black from that stupid pack. Uh, I, I'm still throwing at it just because I'd like to, I, it's a chance to get the meditation chamber as well. Yep. I'm yeah. sad. What the frick is that? Uh, what is, oh, it's not a free baby? No. Oh, it's the um, it's from Last Jedi. It looks like all those kids on Canto Bite. Oh, okay. Yeah. The stable the, kids. Yeah, the stable boys. Uh, and their handler guy. That whatever. hamburger face fucking hamburger guy. Hamburger face Bargwell guy. <laughs> Bargwell, yeah. Ugh. Oh, that's random. It's disgusting. Okay. It's a cute card, actually. I think it's kind of like, cute. Yeah. Hmm. That's like one second before he oh, just yeah. starts laying whip about their on. heads and shoulders with that whip. Get to work, you little fucks! <laughs> cry baby bitches! <laughs> <laughs> like the that, bitches that's cry it. Today's concept card is cry baby bitches. Cry baby bitches. <laughs> They're the bitches who cry a lot. I think that's the theme song for the feed in general. Jacksonville. <laughs> 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 there it is jacksonville okay there you go uh, yeah so they have a shitload of bundles in the store right now all kinds of tons of you know it's one of those you know gandalf you know there's 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 health all over the you know everywhere and the, the game just auto saves shit's about to jump off there's a set coming later at the day in the day at two o'clock the pasana festival hmm. which are basically just character cards but they have that boof that gas or whatever the fuck it is that pops up behind them. Are they going to be gilded? I don't know. I, I hope not. I doubt it, but they're nice looking cards. They've got a motion effect with the poof. I wonder if everybody gets fucked up off that gas. I wonder if they're all getting high That's off. Hard to say. Probably. Yeah. Probably. That's what makes it a fun festival. Kids sucking fumes and stuff. Well, you saw how they were laughing? <laughs> they were pretty <laughs> That's the only reason kids would ever laugh is give them drugs. So um, that's that's coming later today. But there's a ton of bundles out right now. So that's like the new new that'll be happening at two o'clock. We expect that's what they said during the Digicast yesterday at five. But most of our shows now just repeating shit we heard on Digicast. Yeah, yeah. Which then? So, what is the two o'clock tomorrow going to be then? then that'll, that'll be R O T J. Um, yes. White. Yes, that'll be the next wave black of and white black wave. and white. Three. Wave three? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Shit is taking forever. Everything's taking forever. Lord. There's so many things uh, go for so long. Because um, they just keep stretching it out so everybody can have one. Well, yeah. speaking of that, like uh, Evolutions 2020, which came out next week. Nice look last week. Nice last looking week. cards. Ooh. Two different variants, red and gold. Gold are, uh, gold are pretty tough and not cheap. Um, and then the um, reds were super easy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, – those things don't fucking award for like 21 days or so. I shit. know. There is no need There is no for that. reason. I mean, they're just oh, stretching out these deadlines on. so far that you forget that you even have this. There is no but, reason to take that long on the awards. It's crazy. I don't it know why it. they're doing that. So. It makes you miss the 24-hour awards, man. You remember back in the day? Oh, man. They slap a set together. They had a 24-hour award and, yeah. then a week, and then a week later or whatever. Those yeah. are good old days. And, you know, it, it's, it feels to me like so many of these ones with the uncommon 
um, like we're just churning them into hoard. Yeah. It would be nice if there was a meld variant on these sets where those cards are so fucking common that you could do something with them and turn them into a rarer variant and reduce the fucking count on those. Okay. I wouldn't yeah. feel so bad. You know, like the iconic characters that came out on Sunday with Gilded, which we threw at because we're idiots and yep, didn't get any fucking Gilded. Uh, you got one later in the week. Yeah. And then, um, but we had so many of those and those, those were not fucking cheap. Those were expensive. And it really, I feel like a dumbass giving those away for base for, you know, for my hoard. I did. Me too. I did. Cause just what am I going to do with my this? shame? Just to right. erase my shame. But <laughs> just was, to erase the shame so you never have to look at yeah, them. Yeah, so head. I don't look at that and go, God, what a fucking moron I was to got, get all those goddamn worthless uncommons. And the, yeah, and they do nothing for you, right? Same here. Like, I don't want 15 copies of them. I'll, I'll churn them out for nine hoard apiece. But yeah, that I don't would, know. It would be a nice solution to have some kind of meld um, mechanic that would be. around those to, to get those out of our stack and turn them into something a little better than a goddamn, you know, 12,000 count uncommon. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree. And, and well, the thing with the return of the Jedi shit too, man, it's, I mean, I, I'm trading no shit all day long. Blue. Take four blue. Blue leave now. Yeah. I do four blues for nine child. Cause I have so many because I was chasing all the different variants. What would have been cool now that you mentioned that is now they have the, you know, the three greens make a red. They should have fucking did that for the whole set. They should have had three blues for an orange, three orange for a green, three green for a red. And or a black or whatever. Then I wouldn't have. I'm not shitting you when I say like I had 80 copies of every blue. Yep. But you could use those to then generate your next tier. Yeah, I mean it's it's. That would have been so much better. The first couple of days after the drop, man. I mean you're you know you spam and then bam 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 bam. You're just expect you know ex accepting horde trades nonstop. I mean that, yep. we've added thousands. I don't feel bad about the black and white so much, but some of these other sets that are so expensive for garbage you see and the, the counts are still relatively low as well. Mm -hmm. um, th those I feel bad about giving away for, for base. It, you're right. And you know, the, the, the fucking posters and the icon, the iconic characters, those were expensive cards. Yep. Um, and then you have, like you said, you have these guys that maybe they do the blue ROTJs for your horde. And then the next thing you know, they're creeping your stack and they're going through all your uncommons. And then they're trying to send trades for old ass, cards that are in the uncommons that are yeah. you know a couple hundred a couple hundred cc right. or you know, 600 cc some of the older dual dual perceptions i'm like oh no, 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 oh, no, no, oh no. your roll there jack no <laughs> slow yeah. that roll yeah you're slow your roll because that those those were not cheap like I, anything to me anything that i spent say 100 crystals on i'll do for nine base 100 to 150 crystals when you start talking about 250 crystals a car then it starts yeah, it's a more. buck a pop i'm not going to spend yeah. a dollar on nine white base exactly. Fuck that. No, exactly no. not doing no. it i like my one dollar bills too much <laughs> <laughs> so uh, moving into ongoing sets um we had <laughs> guards Darn! which Somehow in the in the in the the uh, transmission that said they're infiltrating, I'm like, why would the, guards infiltrate? They, don't, they stop people from infiltrating. They're preventing the right? infiltration. That That's their like, job. That should be the copy for like spies. Right. Yes. Spies. That made no sense at all. Like uh, we've said before, they traitors. Have, they have to have a. Uh, an English major there. Maybe they could check over the copy. Somebody that knows the meaning of the word infiltrate can maybe yeah. go over that before they, they hit send. Cause that, that's embarrassing. That's pretty rough. <clears throat> it makes you, it does make you long for the days of the old transmissions. Like you said, they were, they were over the top sometimes. Yeah. At least they made more sense than this. They were fun. They were having fun. <laughs> yeah. It was stupid, but I, you know, it, 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 that, they, there was a point to that. So I, I got that. I don't like the guard set. I didn't do the first one. I'm not doing the other ones. I'm sure I'm going to get tons of offers for those over the next 20 years. <laughs> um, Same here. I'm, I didn't even play defense with these. I'm not touching them. Like, you know. I just don't. I don't care for the design. The characters are all nothings. Why would I even do that? So I was you did it. <laughs> I know. I, just, I have the preamble to Crystal going, I did it. <laughs> well, you never, you never hear her say, these people keep sending me these guards because they're needs. <laughs> you can all say that, but she's never going to say that because they're not needs. So no. she's, she's protected. Blocked. And the, the, yeah. some of she's them were guarded. pretty low count this time. And, and then I had, like, some people trying to, like, 
send me nine base form. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Not going to do it this You're going to have to lock your guards. To yeah, keep don't that. make me lock my guards. you got to stop that infiltration is what it is. They're going <laughs> to try to guards. infiltrate your stack and take all your guards. She's, she's guarded. She is now guarded. I'm guarding my guards. guards. Yes. And then we're on wave three of Mandalorian Heritage. Yeah. Yep. Um, those those are quick, easy, fun, cute, nice. Um, I I never get any. I get like one or two dupes maybe, mm-hmm. and then there's dupes for needs, and I'm, so I don't have to you know try to give those away. Those I do. Those I do for base. Those because they're only like a hundred a piece. So I pile those on and then do those. For, yeah, I, oh, yeah. This was funny though because yesterday I I didn't pull them at first time, but I did pull them yesterday because I was at work and I didn't have time to deal with bullshit. So I pulled a bunch yesterday and then I put them out there. And of course, which one of that whole set that we just got in that wave? Which one is the only one that people are sending trades for? The armor. That's it. The armor. Were, yeah, I had oh. tr- I had trouble getting the. I didn't pull the armor and I had to. I was dupes for needing along and then i think i ended up going to a swap shop guy for it and gave him a, a you know a two for one. Oh man i probably didn't have it when you did but no, i would have given you one i don't mind I, you know the swap shop guys perform a service i'm happy to you know mm-hmm. throw them just to be done and go off to do something else you know just yep. be done two with for one. Yeah. so and so i changed my so i fixed my post i said nine you know nine child or 18 for armor i got a couple people do it too <laughs> nice. that's good that's cool so, it's decent I'm happy with it, but I do like those and I like the heritage look and we bitched about it before. So we won't go down that road. Um, but the counts are too high. They should have been lower counts, man. Those, cause those were really nice, especially, like I said, I did the, a new, the, a new hope empire strikes back and return of the Jedi ones. And they had the 24 hour award, the super award, the meld award and the regular award. Those were tough sets to put together. They were, they were not cheap back in the day. Well, it's a good, it's a good and bad a set like this is almost like a loss leader. New players coming into the app, see the heritage cards and they go, oh, those are nice. And I've collected all these sets. Now I'm going to look back and see about some of the other ones. Now, if they've got a lick of sense and they understand counts and things like that, then there's something for them to go after. And I think it raises the value of those cards in the app to have pe- demand as part of the equation. Um, so people going after those is a good thing. Um, and, you know, people, you know, have something to go after then. And it, like you said, increases value on the thing. So it's not, a, it's not a bad thing. But when they're trying to trade new hot garbage, super high count, tier for tier, that's where they're going to get themselves in trouble and, and, you know, hurt the ratings and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword there. And, or the scales of justice. I don't know. What am I doing? Yeah, here? the scales of justice don't work scales still. Scales of oh, 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 okay. So, yeah. So it's it's not all it's not all bad um, to see these things come back and people wake up to like you know the um, when they did um, what are those stupid splashy looking things they did recently the platinums uh, you know the platinums yeah. were easy then they had some tough ones for melds and there's mm-hmm. people that were like oh that's an attractive set I like those and I see that there's other ones previously let me go after those and some of those are approachable in the you know the few hundred range mm-hmm. yeah no you're right you're exactly right. But you're right there. It's going to, it does people a disservice to think that they're going to go get the older sets or older versions from, from these sets for anything close to what they're getting. Well, it's just, I argue against people that say that these things coming back and being easy devalue the old ones. I don't feel that they do. Increasing demand for older stuff is raising value. Mm-hmm. Um, and in a lot of cases on things that people are, uh, have forgotten about or, or you know, don't care about that much anymore. So Yeah, it doesn't devalue them. It's not changing their card count. Like you said, it's giving them more exposure to a bigger yeah, I've population. I've seen people in the, in the transmissions like, oh, good, well, you just ruined the value of Platinums now. Good job. And I'm like, uh, well, more people know about them and want to chase after them now. That's not a bad thing. Some of them may be idiots and they're going to try to give you garbage mm-hmm. you don't want for them. Uh, but yeah. some people will have a lick of sense and will will trade well for stuff. So it's not exactly. a bad thing. So, and then also in ongoing sets, so many things getting dragged out and going through the mill again. Now we're on the second go round for all the troopers in time. And still no no steampunk trooper. There's still, well, it's all the same ones. We're just basically going through the same ones over again. It makes me mad every day. I'm just like, so we got basically what? 36 days from the first drop to the end where they're going to finally goddamn award these things. That's ridiculous. That's beyond preposterous. And then the avatars, we're on the second bite at those as well. So, yep, yep. you know, it just goes on too long and it drags things out and it's boring. It's, 
they're not, you can't count those in your schedule as anything other than repeats of what they did two weeks ago. Right. Yep. And the, they did the same with the avatars and the troopers. It's right. Fucking no not way. a lot of content this week that wasn't shit like that. You know, we've got, you know, a couple of things and then it's a bunch of repeat stuff yep. or wave two or wave three of something they've done previously. But, you know, we get a Pisana set later and who knows how much that's going to hurt. There will probably be a static version and then a motion version on those. I wouldn't Maybe. Be I don't think yes. they mentioned, a, a, um, you know, variants on those, but I, that's what I foresee. I'm going to try real hard. We'll see what they are. I'm going to try real hard not to pull them because I need to save for tomorrow <laughs> for the black and whites. Uh, yeah. I hope they're not, but they, like you said, they loaded up the crystal deals. So. Yeah, lots of bundles. So yep. you know, you're, you've got options either way. So, um, and then the other big thing that they did this week, they dropped the Digicon passes, basically con badges for this digital convention event, which is coming next week. I'm correct now, finally. For I've said it, it's coming next week, every week for the last three weeks. So finally I'm right. It's coming this week on starting on Thursday. Um, there's going to be events for all the apps going on. There's going to be a watch party for this, a watch party for that. They're going to have live appearances. The John Ratzenberger thing, um, which basically will be like a Zoom Twitch thing mm -hmm. um, with, with him, um, which they're soliciting questions for. You have to put in a certain uh, hashtag. So look for the Twitter handles for those to get your mm -hmm. questions in. And you might hear John Ratzenberger answer your question live. Kind of cool. Um, and then they're going to have Ashley Eckstein, as we've mentioned previously, for the Star Wars one. That's supposed to be Thursday at some point. Um, so there'll be a lot of stuff going on. And then on top of that, there'll be all kinds of content. Some of this stuff will be exclusive to people who have the pass. Um, and it's a good deal on the pass. It's, I don't, it's not something like stupid. Um, it's two bucks. You get 600 crystals or, or diamonds with that, which is the gold standard on price, I think. So they're not, they're not screwing anybody there. Um, you're getting a good value on crystals, plus there'll be exclusive shit that you get from all the apps except Huddle and UFC. The dead apps have nothing, but there's six live apps that you can get this thing for, and they will have something for every single one of those. I think that's great, yeah. I think, I, I think they're really putting a lot of thought and into it. I think it's a pretty cool idea that they're doing it in general. Um, you know, gotta have a virtual, convention so what's better than digital card app to have a virtual convention that's pretty that's pretty cool it's a cool it's a cool idea and it'll be interesting to see how it works and um uh you know i already predicted that they're just going to be completely brain fried by sunday on twitch because you know they're just going to be hours and hours and hours on twitch and um so it'll be interesting to see them you know degrade yeah mark said, <laughs> mark said, they're, going, uh, he said they're going live on thursday through Sunday, like not even going. I'm like, oh, uh, Mark man. and Gabby will be each referring to each other as the, you know, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny to watch. The, hey, the what big... do you think of that card, bitch? I don't know, fucker. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of it? <laughs> I'm <need> a drink. <laughs> They'll be fucking swearing at each other and stuff. It'll be great. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. But the Digicon bass, uh, Pass is not a bad deal for yeah, just yeah. for the crystals alone. And hopefully there'll be some interesting content. Um, they'll probably keep those on sale all the way through the weekend. So I bet, I bet you could even get if one. They cut off sales on them like Wednesday night. And That'd then Thursday awesome. they have, you know, okay, well, the only way to get this reflections card is if you got your digit pass, go open your pack. Ah, and everyone loses their fucking mind. I don't know what the numbers of sales are on those are. Uh, Cause there's no know. count on the digit, digit pass or. No digit idea. Pass. But yeah, you're right. People would shit themselves and they wouldn't do that to anybody. So. That's yeah, just they're the too nice to everybody. No, they wouldn't. That's just they're their new thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wouldn't want somebody to get their feelings hurt. Oh, I didn't have <laughs> a chance to buy this. <laughs> it was my birthday, and I couldn't get a pass. <laughs> my birthday, and I, I was waiting until I got my birthday money from my Uncle Charlie so I could buy my <laughs> Digicon pass, and now it's too late. Guess I'll just go ahead and go back to Disney. They're nice over That's there. it. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I'll just be free to play. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that impersonation of crybaby bitches. <laughs> well done. So, I read it right out of the feed. We had, um, I actually, I, you know, I, I made, I put out a call last week and I've uh, in uh, various forums and things like that on the show itself asking if anybody had any shout outs. And I actually, I actually have a couple of shout outs to play. So 
let's go ahead and 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 do those and then we can we can do some shout outs ourselves what do you okay. Think? okay all right so let's go ahead and listen to that first hey this is asia marie just wanted to leave a shout out mainly because i want greg to make a new song i already spend my entire weekend and usually through monday with uh what you're watching and keeping it weekly stuck in my head so i need a new one to add to that but just want to give a shout out to cam for doing an awesome giveaway that's so cool of you uh, to our entire Discord for being just a group of fantastic people. Y'all make me use Discord, which is amazing. I don't ever do anything that social. Uh, and, yeah, maybe Thundergirl for being an awesome two-for-one account. If y'all don't use Thundergirl for trading, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Uh, happy hoarding, everyone, and have a great week. Bye. Hey, it's Asia Marie again. I'm a spaz and completely forgot the other person I wanted to shout out. Merv. Thank you so much, Mr. Darth Albin. You have been my freaking client hero every single day. I've been waking up to trades for my client Wave 2 cards for his Wave 1 hoard. It's been making my morning every day. So thank you, Merv. You rock. Bye. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Asia Marie, for both of those shout-outs. She actually called and, and had one and then – she forgot something and, and, and added another one. So we got two shout outs and she wants a song. She, 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 she a shout out song. song. Shout out song. So, you know. Wow. Um, we'll see. I have, I haven't even heard any. I haven't. Have, little it, I'm snippets. waiting for that. Uh, I'm waiting for that hasn't, spark. Hasn't sparked. That spark of creativity it's to come into my brain and uh, just boom, it's all there, all whole cloth, ready to go. And, and you know, just like crybaby bitches. So you know, I, I've been so I've been so uh, wrapped up in that one that I haven't really gotten anything else going. But we'll see. So you'll wake um, up one morning and there it'll be. Yeah. So I had I, my my shout outs I've already given Selden Patch and Clark Browery and of course Padme one one three eight. Thank you very much for the help with the rainbow. Uh, could not have happened without y'all. Um, and it, it was nice to see not only you help but also appreciate what what happened with it like oh wow that's really cool thanks so um thank you very much and and thanks to everybody in all my groups for ooing and eyeing over my my silly achievement uh, so thank you very much for that and matt you got any shout outs let's see um well like you my uh my four biker scouts from that individual came via sherpa so <laughs> that that individual the person selling them has has tried to overcharge me several several times for them yeah so, um there's a guy in our Discord. Uh, he got game, and he's the guy who went and got them for me. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's yeah, good. he is. He's great. He likes. Uh, he collects the Rebel pilots, and I had uh, 2015 wedge. Uh, yeah, he does the he does the wedge. I, yeah. I so I had that, and he wanted that, and then uh, we were trying to figure out a way to do it. And I was like, "Listen," I said, "I'm not. I hate to send people on quests." And this was literally a few days before this dude started selling. I said, mm. "I don't like to send people on quests. That's not cool. That's been done to me too many times." But here are some cards that somebody has. If you happen to come across them, then this we could certainly keep talking about this wedge card. And uh, and he's he reached out to him, and the dude said he'd sell them to him at a at a price probably half of what he was trying to charge me. And I so I PayPal'd him the money. I sent the money over to him. He paid for them. They were done. And I gave him the wedge as a thank you. I was like, just take the wedge. I don't even care. You know, just for sherpering the deal, like and getting it done. I was amazed to find I actually had a Ray need. For Selden Pat, that is amazing. Practically amazing. impossible. I had a gold Jeez. relic that I've just what? had knocking around forever. <laughs> I've had it for ages, and he didn't have that one. I'm like, what the hell? So when he got the cards, I sent that over as my half of the the transfer. That's yeah, that's nice. And he was like, whoa! I I can't. I could not believe I found a, a need for for Selden Pat. He got a bunch of stuff off the guy too. He got a couple of those purple celebrations. Yep. Um, off that guy. I don't know. I don't know what he got some some Mac Daddy Ray shit off that guy. Yeah, because that guy had a lot of Ray stuff. Yeah. Um, and you're right. He cleaned house on him too. And if if anybody's interested to see what Pat you know, got, you can see he posted on Reddit in the uh, you know what what did you accomplish? Today? Yeah, the, the Friday, um, Friday Friday accomplishment thread. So yeah, first to anybody who's listening that might want to see that, Pat put a, a post out. That was cool. Cool. So he's a great guy. Shout outs. Um, I don't know. I guess well, I don't know where he went. Um, what are you doing? 
tell a child to be quiet. She's in there. She she texts and she speaks her texts aloud as she texts. Okay. You're not okay. She's just playing. She's gaming, man. She's gaming. She's gaming. No. Oh. Um. Too loud. I don't know. Just shout outs to like some of the people who send me horror traits constantly every day. You know, like Oakenfelder. And um, Dark NATO, I was getting some today. Um, what is that? The Ahsoka one. Dark Tiger, is that it? Yeah. 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 Getting a bunch from them. They're awesome. They're yeah. really nice. Yeah, I like them. Very nice. Yeah. Just shout out to the to the horde people. Yeah. And, and I've kind of like encountered a person that I, that's been around and, and I had some really nice interactions this week with, um, uh, Lord helmet 66. Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty cool guy. I, you know, he's been around, he's a baller. He does a lot of stuff. I sold a card to him. We chatted a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to kind of get to know him a little bit better. Pretty cool guy. Um, so yeah, that was, that was neat too. So, you know, guys, if you're out there and you'd like to get a shout out in, um, give us a call. It's 904-628. 1138, leave a voicemail like Asia Marie did, and we'll get that on for you. We'll put it right in the show. So, uh, yeah, because you got you to give props to your folks that help you out or keep that help coming, baby. Absolutely. So, we are into what you're watching. Tell me what you're watching on your TV tonight. Tell me. What you streaming on your iPad? Tell me what you're watching every day and at night. I'll be outside watching from the bushes. So, what you watching? What are you watching, Matt? How many times have you watched Hamilton? Yeah, have you seen Hamilton yet? <laughs> Zero times. I know. I got to watch it. Oh, we got to watch it. Um, what are we watching? Like I said, we've been into the Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so we get an episode or two of that done at night after the kids go to bed. Again, funny show. Um, that's pretty good. And just general stuff, man. We haven't watched anything specific. We haven't really been binge watching too much. I watch too much. You know what I watch a lot of? I watch a lot of fucking Peppa Pig and... <laughs> I watch a lot of Peppa yeah. Pig and uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and all that. I watch too much. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. I watch that. That's so. That's a lot of what I've been watching when I'm when the television or the or the iPads or whatever is streaming, whatever is on. It's mostly kids stuff. So then by the end of the night, it's just me and my brown liquor and and trying to make some trades on my phone. Um, but we do get some of the we do get some like I said Brooklyn Nine Nine. Rick Steves travel. We like I said, our cruise is now scheduled for May, um, so we're trying to get our travel fix in by by watching a little bit on TV. I didn't watch much this week of consequence. Really, didn't didn't I did I played a lot of Fallout again. Oh, that's right, you're back into that. So that's back good. into that. I actually started a new save. Um, I've, I've got a, there's a mod with a cheat terminal that basically will give you any item in the game and you can level your shit up. So you can basically do like a new game plus, which is not something that existed in Fallout. You know, you get to the end of the game and you're done and you've got everything and power armor and the kick-ass weapons and all that stuff. Um, so you don't, there's no new game plus where you get to use all that stuff. So I actually did that. I started a brand new save as soon as I got out of the vault, man, I'm fucking rocking power armor. I got the kick-ass weapons. My levels are all fucking maxed out. And I just have access to all, all the crafting stuff. And I went and built a beautiful house by the Starlight uh, Drive-In. I spent hours building this incredible – the house is so big. I don't have any um, – it only gives you so many resources because that's all the game can handle, really. And I built it so big that I have no I have no room left for furniture. Oh man! Did you do lava rocks though? Huh? Did you do lava rocks out front? No, I didn't. Um, but I, I, there's a lot cool. of junk that I can use that you know that, that you can basically cool. spawn junk and use. So like, yeah. I literally have like a bed, and then there's like a 300 foot floor to the other end of the house. 
<laughs> with it's nothing good. in it. <laughs> There's like a bed, a power armor rack, and a, a couple of chairs and couches, and that's it. It's, it's a bachelor pad, man. What else do you ridiculous. need? It's ridiculous. Yeah. It looks fantastic from the outside. <laughs> Because then you got to wire it. You got to you got to wire it for lights and stuff like that, and get all get all the lights working and everything. It's it's Very a cool. big pain in the ass, but it's fun. Um, so I, I did that and um, didn't didn't watch much. And then Thursday and Friday, the kids started school, <clears throat> virtual school here in the the living room. Um, mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to be watching or playing video games during that because um, that would be a distraction. And she you needs could to do it in the bedroom. Yeah. Yes. I could watch shows in the bedroom, but I don't watch that many shows anyways. Or on your iPad. I could do that too. Yeah. But mostly I just sit there and, and fuck around on the app or yeah, that's what I'm doing. go between discord and Twitter and, and um, our text group and, and the app and just kind of just cycle through. Yeah. And that's, that's all I do. I really didn't watch much anything. All I do. Yep. What about you? What'd you watch? What, what science programs, what college <laughs> courses did you complete on, on PBS this week? <laughs> I didn't watch as much as I did last week just because we were busy doing stuff. Um, I finally watched the most recent Terminator movie. Oh, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a train wreck, but it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a train wreck. It's, a busy, but it was, it's it was, busy. Yeah, it, it's it is busy, busy. busy. It's very busy. It doesn't stop. It's go, go, but, go, 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 yeah. go, go. Yeah, but I was like, oh, Arnold, oh, okay. So, yeah, it, it was nice. He, looked, was pretty, he looked pretty good, too. Yeah. He got himself looking yeah. pretty good to, to be in that. I mean, they didn't have him walking around, you know, with his shirt off or anything like that. But, <laughs> I, you know, I, I should look so good at his age, you know? Yeah. Right. So I, I enjoyed that. I watched Hamilton again. Well, I mean, <laughs> you found the time somehow. Um, I did watch some history shows. Um, and then, oh gosh, did, <laughs> I watched a horrible, stupid thing on Amazon Prime. Last week it was Vast of Night, which that was, was garbage. Trash. So... This week, I found there was this movie that came up in my suggestions because I was watching all this history stuff. Probably because you watched Vast of Night. No. And no, no. It was, it was related to all the history you like stuff. terrible stuff. movies. Here's I was watching one. stuff about, you know, yeah. Europe and the Middle Ages and stuff like that. And it was called, it's called Black Plague. Okay. And it stars Lena Headley. Oh, okay. From Get Off the Screens. <laughs> Um, Lena Headley from Game of Thrones. So I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting, you know, and, the, and like the artwork looks like her, you know, like on a throne. So obviously oh, so trying to catch they Jesus. must have, were trying to catch on, on uh, the um, Game of Thrones crowd. Oops. Oops. Pardon me, I have to get the kids' phone case done. You know what we need? We need a song for that because it has right? It's time for a phone case. case. It's time oh, changing, case. It changing now. cases now. Oh, I'm at one percent. I need my phone case. I have no self control. control. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a sad song about the battery being just that quickly. Dying and see that. See, they're always talking about with the songs. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, yeah. But a yeah song a phone black case light movie. Okay. So Lena Headley, and you know, I was like, oh, okay, you know, she's good, you know, she, this just should be good. It's about the Black Plague, sounds interesting. So, it is a train wreck, trash, oh. garbage, <laughs> worthless, just <laughs> so good. I need to such, see this. You, yeah, Mind I'm down. surprised. It, it, it's like, sounds like something they would watch on tarot cards. I was about to say, you're making it sound as good as Greg made House Shark sound. It's garbage. <laughs> it is such garbage. I mean, there's literally a scene where it looks like one of her um, uh, help uh, house people, maids or whatever, is picking lice out of her hair. It literally, oh. I think that's what's happening in it. And then there's like some guy. That's who, a good job, right? Lice slave. Yeah, lice picker. Yeah. It's like <laughs> she's like kind of like a lady of this town, and her husband is like a knight or something, and he's gone off on something fighting in the Hundred Years' War over in France. And uh. he got taken 
cap he's captured so they have to pay ransom for him but then his nephew came back stealing and had captured somebody so like there's this guy like in like this metal mask or whatever and of course he takes the mask off and he's supposed to be gorgeous but he was kind of just grubby looking like and, the man in the iron mask you know so there's just like this grubbiness to the whole thing and then just like this weird shit happens and it turns out that this guy is not who he says he is oh and then there's like a bishop who like has like this pornographic uh manuscripts that he makes her watch because she needs to pay rent and she has to look at these manuscripts and she has 10 days to pay him money. Otherwise they're going to have to, she's going to have to do what's on these stupid <laughs> manuscripts. It's so stupid. I, you know, it's, I, I think in my life, oh. I've never heard the phrase pornographic <laughs> manuscripts. <laughs> oh God. If, it, if kept, we didn't already have a title, that was going to be it. Right? I kept watching because I'm like, <laughs> at some point, this, something better has to happen and but no nope. and then i'm gonna do you now the spoil the whole movie it turns out that the guy who they captured who they thought they were going to be able to swap for her husband is not that guy he's actually the bastard of her husband's dead first wife wow who of course she then hooks up with and then her husband really? comes home and he kills him. And it's it was such nonsense. Ugh, it, was, it sounds grueling. What it had to do with the Black Plague, I'm not quite sure because- Nobody had the plague. No, it kind of started off like it seemed like people were getting the Black Plague That's because you know, like they had the nasty boils and the crap. But yep. then- they didn't, and uh, all this other weird they shit. They just naturally happened. had boils. Yeah. Uh, it was. Oh God! It was so stupid. Sounds terrible. Sounds terrible. Le Lena it's Headley's career is all over the place. She does. Oh. She does great things like that. That John, Con the the John Connor Chronicles yeah. or whatever, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. That was fantastic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Did you ever oh. see that movie Dread? Yep, yep. That was uh, Sylvester Stallone was in that shit. Wasn't no. It? Wasn't that Sly? What's that? Wasn't that Sylvester Stallone, right? No, 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 no. There was, was the new one. That was the one with Carl Urban. <laughs> Carl Urban I plays Judge Dredd. No, 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 that one. no. And oh. Lena Headley's in that one. She's like the big villainess in that one. Um, that movie's fantastic. Oh. Um, and apparently, when it first came out, it was in 3D. And I would have killed to. I would kill to see that movie in 3D. It's a really? Fant It's really a great movie. It's super well done. Carl, Carl Urban never takes the helmet off. Oh, like in the whole of, movie. Kind of defeats the purpose of having Carl. Oh, Urban. gee. Well, I guess I don't like the Mandalorian then either. Hmm. Mm. Um, but he's Judge he Dredd the him. whole time. Huh. It's really cool. If you haven't seen it, it's fantastic. And um, oh, check it oh out. my gosh, it's a hard ass R. <laughs> hard really? ass R for violence because holy shit, it's crazy. But literally, the whole thing takes place in this huge building that's like a whole city block building. Mm -hmm. um, and basically they go in and then they're locked in basically because this mama character played by Lena Headley controls the entire thing. The entire building is basically her domain and everything mm -hmm. that happens in it is all bad criminal shit. Um, and then he bas they have to basically, that's basically what they should have just put the tagline for black plague, bad criminal shit, which seriously, I think tarot cards, you guys should just get on that movie. <laughs> they probably, they probably can't domain. get it. They, yeah. Uh, yeah, sadly, it probably, probably has production values. No, it doesn't. It does not have production value. No. <laughs> Better production value than taking place in one house or the yard of said house? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it, literally, sounds... it literally looks like it could have been shot in the same house. Oh. And maybe outside of it. The it's, director's house. Garbage. It's such garbage. It's and there's crazy crap happening in it. And there's stuff that's supposed to be scary, but it's not. And and a lack of black plague. And a, well, there's kind of yep. black plague and kind of some blood and stuff, but uh, yeah. So get get a, get on that tarot cards. You could probably you Glad know. I don't have to watch that. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've you've saved me the trouble now. I will now I'm Oh. So it was not historical. I was pissed. <laughs> I still am pissed. The more I, think about it. I want my hour and a half back. 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> get it when daylight savings time comes. It was fall. garbage. But the last <laughs> thing I saw, I then like to cleanse the palate. I had to find something to like watch. And I started watching I'll Be Gone in the Dark on HBO. Never heard of that. What is it's, that? It's a little is limited. That a show? Yes, yeah, a show. It's a limited series about Patton Oswald's um wife. Oh, okay, yeah, died. she's the one that that, that caught the that Golden caught State the Golden Killer. State who killer. Just, yeah. Yes, and he yeah. was sentenced this week to life without yeah. possibility. For yeah, him. so I started watching that, and it, it's 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 really good. So oh, I'm not halfway right. through, so that's in, it's interesting. Now, one of the things I meant to talk about, and I I didn't I didn't talk about when we were talking about the the Digicast. Um, was there was a part at towards the end um, they they were kind of filling time because a lot of stuff didn't really work for them, um, but one thing I I caught um, that I thought was really interesting and I thought it was more valuable than anything they've ever said about any products or anything like that um, was they were talking about going to Disney um, and, and really about uh, and I uh, Gabby she lives in Florida she has passes she has. Well, it passes. said she it's let the one. She let the she let the one, one expire. expire and everything. But there, there were a few moments where she was talking about Disney and and not being able to go to Disney and stuff like that. There were some, um, some human moments coming through there. Um, some emotion um, showing through in her face and in her voice. Um, that is something that I had never, I did not expect, and I was really touched by. Um, and I think. Um, that may end, that type of thing may end up being the most valuable part of what they're doing um, with their Twitch stream is the fact that we're seeing these folks as people. Um, and I, I think um, that especially these days has so much value um, that I was, I was really interested in that. And I was, it was cool to see Mark's dog, a gorgeous dog and beautiful cat um, and see him relating to his animals and stuff like that. Uh, that that put a human face on on him as well, um, and and raised him in my estimation and and feeling of, about him as a person. Um, mm -hmm. Just seeing that, and I, I think that's something that they should. Um, I don't think that's something they intended to get to. It just happened um, because they're all going through what we're all going through as well, and we forget that sometimes. Um, you know, people are really hard on these devs and 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 give them shit. We give them shit all the time for st dumb stuff they do or things they don't know. Or things like that, and I think it's really important for people to remember that they're they're people too. Um, so that was that. That is cool. That's really good because once they get that, and once they start opening themselves up, you know, to the community and, and making themselves, like you said, not vulnerable necessarily, but but just being more human, then they'll start to connect. I think with the community in a way that they haven't yet, um, because a lot of the things, like you've said, that the way that Mark writes or the way that Gabby writes. I mean, they try. I think Gabby's a little bit more expressive in her writings on Disney because she writes and she puts her name at the bottom and you know, stuff like that. They used to get a little bit more of that in Star Wars, not so much anymore. It's but more of a voice, I think. I think. Exactly. And I think that the more you know, they can open themselves up uh, like that and, and connect with the community as much as they can. Mark does a good job. He's on Reddit. He's on uh, Discord. So he does talk to folks there. Um, but like you said, once he, he opens himself up and they open themselves up to the bigger community um, in the apps across, I think they'll find more value and, and they'll become more invested than just, you know, then it'll become, like you said, it'll be, it's more than, it's more than just the job that they were hired to do. Right. So I hope, well, I hope. A double -edged sword. I mean, I, I think, I think professionally they have to in some way, try to push back from being thought of as members of the community or sure. part of the community because they have a job to do and that sometimes they just have to give it to the community and, and y'all just deal with that. And that's, you know, but it was, it was interesting to see. It's something I've never seen um, in all of our history in, in the top apps was, was human moments. I think that's so much more important now than it ever has been. Um, so I was, I was really interested in that and that's and awesome. cool to see. So, yeah, and I'll count would... that as my final thought. There you go. You got anything? No, I just, I, I hadn't watched the previous ones, but I watched, um, yesterday, most of it. And it, it was interesting. Um, I, I enjoyed it and I, I enjoyed hearing about like they're, they're doing stuff, you know, like 
Mark and all of them. And seeing them getting shit from their boss live on Slack. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, relate to that. So that, 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 was, that, was, that was good. But, you know, I, you know, and I hadn't really seen anything about Gabby before, but I'm just like, oh, okay, she's, she's cool. And I'm like, and she kept talking about, you know, getting like, Mickey ears and stuff for Digicon. So I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see which ear she's going to show up with. Apparently she has a lot. Apparently yeah. she probably, yeah. Yeah. Like On she the had, she had the nice, um, those were the sequin ones she had mm -hmm. on yesterday. So I'm sure she's going to, and she'll, you know, she'll probably get some cool, uh, her universe ones to impress Ashley because you got, you got it. Yeah. So <laughs> well, it, was cool. it was nice to see that. And I, I'm, I feel like, they're growing in relatability, and so hopefully they continue um, on that track um, because I think it has a lot of value. So, and I, hopefully, folks that see us and, and listen to us feel the same way um, that they're, they're you know, talk, talking to people or hearing people talk to each other. You know, it's there's something to that that's that's so much more important right now. Um, I'm looking forward to the day when it's not, and then we can just stop doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you've made that point several times is that, you know, when you're dealing with somebody in the app, like there's always, it's important. There's another, there's a person on the other side of that. They might be being an asshole in the app, but that, you know, and sometimes it's easy to light people up, but it, it's always, there's another person there who is trying to make a trade most times. So. It's so <laughs> funny that, and there's, there's been people that in app, I couldn't, I could never get along with that in other realms, say in discord or in Twitter or place or Facebook and things like that, where it's a, it's almost like a completely different person. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that's a probably more accurate that of, of accurate version of them because they have a longer form and, mm -hmm. and, you know, there's not shit on the table between you and you see a yeah. little bit more of that other person and start to understand that a little bit more. I, I think that's really important stuff. So, um, good, good job. Well done tops. I, yeah. It's rare that we say that, but I think, um, what you're doing, maybe not, not, not have intended um, to be that, but I, I think it's, it's important and good and keep, keep it up. We like it. I agree. Okay. Well, folks, thank you for joining us again for a long talk about digital cards and a million other things. And you learned about lava rocks and hot dog water and, and no. cloacas and weird <laughs> shit like that. Um, we're doing this every week. Um, you can follow us on Twitch. It's G-R-E-G-G-K-E-E-F-E-R. -E 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 That's me, Greg Kiefer. Um, you can find us on Twitter. We're in Reddit all the time. We've got a Discord. If you see us on Reddit, reach out to us. We'll get you in there. See how things go with that. Um, we are, are doing this every week, and we are always looking for your voice in the show. 904-628-1138. If we're not doing something that you want us to do, call in, tell us about it, <clears throat> put it on the show, leave a voicemail. Operators are not standing by. We would love to hear from you. Call in with those shout-outs. And we thank you again, uh, Matt Jacobus. Happy birthday, happy birthday. sir. Hey, thanks a lot. It should be a good day. It I'm should excited. be. I hope you have a wonderful day and your family just, just smears cake all over you. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Yeah, we'll see. I think I'm getting a strawberry rhubarb pie is what I heard. So. Ooh, Ooh, that sounds good. Nice. <laughs> Diabetes intensified. <laughs> she is a wonderful baker. So we'll see. <laughs> Um, but there will be brown liquor in my very near future. Well, there's brown liquor in this coffee, so no, not not enough. Right. Uh, cold enough. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I gotta keep myself to five and after five p.m. I and usually after. do. Today is a different day. So. Yeah, for sure. It's a birthday. Do whatever the hell you want, man. Well, thanks again for joining us. We really well, appreciate thanks for having it. Me. Always a pleasure to have you, sir. Best. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thanks so much. Thank you, and thank you to everybody. Thanks for everybody. You're welcome. Call me Nemo. Thank you. I'm glad stuff worked this week. We're going to get this. <laughs> We're going to get this. All right. Thanks again, folks. Arrivederci. Meet you. Bye-bye. We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. We are watching.